Okay, here's my tip. Uh, if you've got one of these little milling machines, often it's quite difficult to set the Z height. For, uh, for, of your, if you've got a DRO, it's difficult to know where you are in the Z height because you can't use a wiggler. Uh, X and Y is no problem. So the easy way to do it is to get yourself one of these little adjustable parallels uh, and um, pop that under the under the uh, end mill there and in the gap and just uh, adjust that up till it's a nice snug, you know, a nice uh, and slip that out and then take your calipers, make sure they're zeroed or you can use a micrometer for extra for extra um, accuracy and I've got there 16.62 and I'm going to uh, adjust this and say um, if you hold it for a long press it comes up and you can actually type in the dimension and you want it to be negative 16.62 and set the dimension and now if I come back here Take that down to zero. Right on zero there. If I take this across top of the work, put it in a place where it's. I can spin that, and I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good there. And there's no, no play. It's going up by one, which is well within the accuracy of this quill readout. You can use your quill readout to do this as well. I, I often do it that way, uh, but the um, the adjustable parallel works whether you've got one of these or not, and um, it's it's pretty pretty uh, precise. So um, a good a good tip for setting the. the the Z height and then you know exactly where you are in relation to this um, surface here. 6.96 so these things aren't the best accuracy um, but certainly um, a handy trick. I uh, hope you find it useful. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.